So hello adventurers, welcome to the club. I was always fascinated with things that are powered without batteries. Like this little solar crank radio. You crank the crank and it charges the battery and this gives it the power. Got also a solar panel. So when I recently came across this little treasure here at the flea market, I had to buy it. Because not only because I love this kind of stuff, but also I had one of them when I was a child. So I knew it was good and the lady made me a really good price. And well, let's take a look at the box first. So it says Dynamo Taschenlampe, that means, well, generator, flashlight, or better said, Taschen means pocket and Lampe, lamp, it's one word because in German words with a meaning get added together like car battery is one word in German because it's a thing. I like this old fashioned typewriter font here. <laughs> yeah, I will put your translation of all of this in the description. But now let's open it. So, and they did come um, in uh, different colors, like this one here in brown. I like it. This one here is yellow. <coughs> uh, Age-wise, I suppose it's from around the 70s. The marking here saying made in Hong Kong with some patent numbers also indicates it's from this area because after the Chinese took over Hong Kong, they didn't use the made in Hong Kong label anymore. So. How does it work? It got a little lanyard for your hand, wrist. It's big enough for my hand and that means something. They don't even fit handcuffs around them. <laughs> yeah, it's screwed together with real screws, so if you have to take it apart, you can. And you're simply operated by pushing the crank. Let me see. You push once and it shines. So. I keep pushing and it stays on. It's always a bit flickery, but it works. <laughs> Isn't this cool? Yeah, by the way, my original one never broke. No, it ended up in my dad's buried bug out container. <laughs> yeah, must still be in there. Maybe one day in the future I will excavate it and see what of the stuff is still intact. Maybe even my flashlight. I have to say I can't remember which color mine had. Probably yellow. Something brighter than this. But oh, that's so nostalgic. It is brown and brown. This is so 70s. <laughs> yeah. You got a normal flashlight bulb in it. And if it ever burns out, which I doubt because the voltage is not so high, you can just unscrew this kind of here and take it apart, which I don't do yet, doesn't make any sense. But yeah, <laughs> isn't that neat? <laughs> you got a lanyard, it's got even a little swivel thing here, all made of metal. The lanyard is made out of plastic, but it is solid, still not dried out or something, so it's good quality. The whole mechanism feels good, not like the ones you can buy at wish.com and platforms like this. So yeah, it's not silent, but you don't have to pump like crazy, it's, it works good. Like the name says, it has a little dynamo in it, so it generates its own energy. No cell that gets charged like in this one here because if the cell in here dies it only lights when you crank and the cranking isn't that easy this kind of mechanism really goes easy you can hold it in your hand and do this for half an hour or something without really getting tired so it's if any it's a good training <laughs> so let's see if i can make you see the marking on here can you read it I don't know. I take a picture and put it in the video. 
So, and here's the promised picture now. It says patent number 248120. And a completely irrelevant but interesting detail is yes. um, they have mirrored the image on here because on the original the screw holes are on this side, but they have this side shown here. So they mirrored it. <laughs> yeah. By the way, it's interesting. It's a black and white picture. You can see it on here, color-wise. And they simply colorized it with the color here. Ah, I like this thing. It's even got this original packaging. That's great. And yeah, it is lightweight, not like extremely no weight, but it's lightweight enough, so yeah, you don't mind it if it is in your backpack or in your car, for example. That's good. That's a good thing. So if you have a breakdown of your car, you just have an emergency light. You can have it in your, well, next to your bed. You can have it in your bug out bag. That's the ideal thing. I mean, it doesn't need batteries. If I put this in my bug out bag and pull it out in 50 years from now, I press it and it will work. Yeah. That's the good thing about this. It is, well, like it says, energy independent. Here. Energy independent light source. T energy independent light source, yeah. Yeah, D and Trevor not die. <laughs> Nobody dies here because he has light. And if you have light, you see where you step. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let me show you how it works. So, first of all, a little close up here for you. Start cranking. <laughs> well, it's too loud to tell a horror story, but it definitely works. It's a very concentrated beam, so you don't see much of my face here. It's not a camera light. <laughs> but now let me show you on the wall how it works. So let's start cranking. Yeah, you see, it's working really good and well, it's energy independent. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So now to my resume of this product. Do I like it? No. I love it. <laughs> That's it. It's a perfect thing for every bug out bag, backpacker, in the toolbox of your car or in the glove box. But in the glove box or the toolbox, it's it's perfect. It works. It doesn't need any batteries. It will still work in 50 years if it doesn't get damaged to every any stupid circumstances. No, it's well, it's great. I love it. You pump it and it does what it should. It lights up. <laughs> yeah, it is simple. It is very well made. And well, yeah, could I recommend you to buy it? Definitely. If you find one at a flea market or online, yeah, pick it up. It's great. It's all you need. If you need 
a little portable light source that's always there if you need it. That never will fail due to batteries or something. Are there things to improve? Well, yes. You could of course add a LED lamp, making it more energy efficient. And also a added capacitor, a thing like this here. Let me show you. Across the output could smooth it so it doesn't so much uh, flicker. But otherwise it is a great product that I can highly recommend you. And no, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> because this company is probably out of business for, well, 30 years. <laughs> or 40 years? Oh, definitely a time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dynamo powered flashlight. If you find it, I recommend it. It's a really good product. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I wonder in which colors this actually was available. If you own one of them or still own it, uh, write me in the comments uh, what color it had. I mean, this one is yellow, this one is brown. So, yeah. <laughs> I would like to know if there was a transparent version. I always like transparent products because, well, I'm fascinated with technology and I like to see the little gears and stuff inside. <laughs> Yeah, and by the way, if you wonder about this hand cranked radio, a little advertisement at the end, there is a video on my channel about this as well. So, well, link will be in the description under this video. <laughs> yeah, I really like this one. And a little irony is I used the battery to prop it up so it looks good on camera. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I see you next time here at the Adventures Club. <laughs>